First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming tonight, our special guests, and more importantly, I want to thank God for putting this together because I'm not that good. But uh, it's been seven years of work to get here, and it started, just to give you a quick story, I worked for Donnie Hammond back a couple of times in 1991. I grew up as a caddy, new squeaky, mom got sick with cancer. Next thing I know, I looked around and said, you know, what are you here on this life for? You know, and I, I, I felt like it was something I wanted to do. And it's, and it's really been a wonderful experience to be here. And the, the problem has been that nobody really knows we're here. Being here at the Open is our chance to let the world know that the caddies are here, are very much a part of the, a team effort more than ever before now. And we just want the caddies to be recognized for their contribution for the last 500 years to God. Yeah. And, and not just, yeah, let's give a little call to that. <laughs> And, and believe me, and I think these guys, could, you know, there's a lot of people that need to be here sitting with these guys, and it's up to the media to let people know who these people are, let us know. Mm -hmm. But I, I've become to know these, these gentlemen here and the other uh, gentlemen and, and ladies that we're hoping will be inducted soon uh, as, as friends. And I'm looking forward to getting to know them better and finding out what they've accomplished over the years because it's a, it's a fantastic experience being here. What we want to do is show you the, a real quick three-minute clip of what we did at the World Golf Village this year. We started two years ago with 20 people, fluff, uh, standing outside of the World Golf Village with a cooler full of uh, Pepsis and some crackers, and, and we did with 20 of us last year. This year we did this with uh, 70 people. Uh, Peter was actually inducted in the original uh, Hall of Fame in 99, but he was out we, 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 I just asked Bernhard if he was out working, or we didn't know, but he couldn't get there, and so that we're honoring him tonight with the, the 2,000 inductees with uh, Tip and Willie, and um, we're excited about that. But anyway, if you look at this one little clip. This past week at Augusta National, VJ Singh earned his green jacket, and Freddie Bennett was awarded a plaque signifying his induction into the Caddy Hall of Fame. For 42 years, Freddie Bennett was the Caddy Master at Augusta. He is one of five new members in the Caddy Hall of Fame at the World Golf Villages. Tom Nettles has this story. The way they arrive in a limousine to their Hall of Fame induction dinner, I suppose says a lot about just how far caddies in general have come up in the world of golf in terms of respect for what these men have given to the game. This was definitely front door and bright light stuff, and definitely not the back door of some dark caddy shack although these men have known those times as well. This was a celebration of achievement and contribution, both for work at the club level and professional golf labor. The men being honored, as you might expect, were full of emotion as well as full of story. I never had a feeling like this. It makes me feel so good to think that at my age, I can have such honors put on me like this to have me down here with such nice people and everything. Oh yeah, this kind of makes me feel good. Well, I worked for years to get this honor. 42 years out on the PGA Tour, I think that's long enough. I, I, I appreciate the uh, uh, Professional Caddy Association for giving this event. It makes me very proud that someone is thinking about the caddies that was out there in the 40s and 50s and 60s. It's about time that the caddies start getting some recognition, all the hard work they put in and time and everything, and uh, it's a great thing that they're doing. And the older kids told me to come over and caddy and how nice it was at that time and making 50 cents. Right. <laughs> 50 cents a bag. Yeah, I, we thought, I, thought that, I knew it was something. Something to me because I didn't have nothing. <laughs> caddy not like it was in our days. We used to have to go 36 holes a day. Now they have yardage books and pin placements, which that take everything out the game, I think, as a, being a caddy. So we used to get a uh, tree left, rock right, sand trap. Now they got sprinklers with the numbers on it. 
So, which I'm glad that it happened because anybody, Ray Charles can pat it now. <laughs> Probably the most widely known of the inductees is Alfred Dyer, who was on Gary Player's bag in the 70s when Gary won two Masters and a British Open. The Articulate Dyer was the first caddy in history to work all four major championships, and he's proud of his accomplishments both as a caddy and a parent, and he recommends the profession of a tour caddy. It's been good for me, and you know, I sent my son to Princeton University, which uh, was good. Uh, I sent a son to Princeton from CAD. CAD has been luxury. You know, I tell any young kid who wants to caddy now, go for it. The traveling and meeting people and being on a, the feeling on the other side of the road with the pro, you get the same kind of feeling that he get when you're out there. The five men honored that night at the World Golf Village represent exactly a handful of an estimated one half million caddies worldwide, 24,000 of whom make up the Professional Caddies Association. This is a serious group with a big future vision, which includes health benefits and retirement funds. You need the numbers. You need people coming together, the numbers, to get the benefits. So the scope is uh, that any caddy working or retired or any potential sponsor wants to help us and join this association with the numbers we can get the benefits. If you have never played golf with a caddy you have missed one heck of an enjoyable day on a golf course. Alright that's that's pretty much what it's all about and you know where it goes from here is really up to whoever's in charge and I'm not so but anyway but at this point I want to introduce a gentleman that I met 15 years ago and uh, in trying to put together this in my junior golf program I ran for Orlando from 82 to 89. Parker Smith is former editor of Golf Magazine. He's uh, puts together media conferences. Uh, I'm dabbling in some writing now and I'm looking forward to learning from him. But Parker has been our MC for the last two uh, and I think he can bring you up to date on where we have been and where we're going and at that time uh, we'll start the presentation. So at this time Parker Smith. Thank you. Thanks, Dennis. De I'm on the foundation board for the Caddy Association. I'm very proud to be so. And what we're trying to do with that foundation is find ways to get funds for pension funds and things like that for caddies because it's been a tough road for them. You know, if, if they're not working, they're not working. So I'd like to bring up a champion of the British Open, Bernard Langer. I just uh, wouldn't want to miss this chance to, uh, you know, be a part of this special moment for Peter Coleman, who has been with me for uh, 18 years now. I think it has been, and uh, I think we're gonna keep going a few more years. Uh, he's a great gentleman. He's has a lot of good attributes. He's always on time. He's uh, <laughs> very faithful. Uh, he's, you know, gives you great advice. He's always uh, uplifting and uh, never negative. Uh, makes a lot of good decisions. Uh, it's never, <laughs> not all of them, but a lot of them. A lot of them. And uh, you know, I've been very fortunate to have uh, him carry my bag for such a long time, and we've won many tournaments together. We lost a few together as well, but we won quite a few. So uh, hopefully, there's a few more left in that bag, and it's uh, a great honor for me uh, this evening to give this prize to Peter Coleman, who's certainly been one of the great caddies uh, who's ever lived and uh, hopefully will continue to do so. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thanks. Uh, all right. Alex, anything for you? He's <laughs> <laughs> got a hand in it now. <laughs> You're a good team then. <laughs> One just here. That's all right. Oh, we sometimes feel too. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we, we want to thank, thank you, Water for thanks. Crystal thanks. for donating thank these you. wonderful clocks and the Risk 6 Hotel and all the sponsors. Uh, that helped us, you know, to be here tonight. Also, so it's thank you, and this is a, a one of a one of many. Hope that you'll yeah. receive down the road of other wonderful prizes for this yeah. man. You won. The only thing okay, I'd now. like to say, hey, hey, hey. Uh, 
Peter. about Bernard's speech is like the cat is that uh, we didn't lose the tournaments, he lost the tournaments. Yeah. <laughs> And I just predicted you're going to win this week, so yeah, that's, it. Do it. That, that's how I take it. <laughs> I exactly. How long have you been caddy? I will do um, professionally about 26 years. 26 well, I years. I missed your 25th anniversary, so here's a silver tea. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and now you're a lifetime member of all the PCA right. Worldwide. Let me put this there on your on your little collar here, and then we're going to give you this other award. There you go. And this is to put on your golf bag. Okay. All right. And it's been specially engraved for you in honor of the 2000 uh, the St. Andrews tournament. And donated Thank by you. Who's that? Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember everybody. We'll, we'll go over all the sponsors here. Jupiter. Right. Jupiter engraving, and they're located up here on the street. Thank all you right. very much. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thank, Thank you very much again. Everybody, everybody, everybody get a handshake here. Everybody get a handshake. Sure. Everybody get a handshake. Sure. Everybody get a handshake. Everybody get a handshake. Sure. Everybody get a handshake. 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 Everybody
Uh, they are announcing. No, we, 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 we're going this way. Right? Yeah. Uh, uh, Tip, Tip uh, is legendary. Tip Anderson, James Anderson is legendary uh, because of Tony Lima and Arnold Palmer, principally, I would think. Uh, and uh, I think Arnie credits the, uh, the win at the Open and the changing of the Open back into the, the venue it is and has become, again, the, the world's premier championship. To, uh, to the caddies here at St. Andrews, and in particular to this gentleman. And uh, if you've ever played St. Andrews, come over from the States like I did when I was a youngster and played this course, uh, a caddy here is worth uh, your life to you. I mean, it's worth 10 to 12 shots the first time you play this golf course to have the right caddy out there. And, uh, and these people epitomize why you want caddies and what caddies mean to the game. And uh, Willie Atchison started carrying on tour uh, in 1951. Yeah, 1951. Uh, so he's almost been caddying as long as I'm old, he's just and, uh, <laughs> you are um, old. and he's currently, currently, Willie is currently the caddy master for the European PGA Tour, and he makes sure that it gets done uh, week in and week out on the tour, and that every everybody on the tour is happy, and and gets a caddy that's uh, well versed in what's going on, and. Uh, uh, it's an honor, and I'd like these two gentlemen to both stand up together. Uh, and it's an honor to bring in James Tip Anderson and Willie Atchison into the Caddy Hall of Fame. Jupiter Sports donated these wonderful bag tags, and the PCA donated these money clips, and we have a bag tag engraved with your name on it for yeah, you. Where's the money? <laughs> <laughs> we got the money. We got the pints. We got the pints. <laughs> I'd say Tip has his priorities, right? <laughs> anyway, Thank I, you very much. I just want Most to make an announcement. This means that you're lifetime members of the PCA Worldwide, and all the benefits that we that all the other caddies enjoy. You will enjoy as we grow. Thank, Thank you, very you very much. much. Thank you. Why don't you pin we are sick. We are. Okay. I'm going to put this one right next to your pin here. Go ahead. Yeah, that's it. Here we go. Put okay. it right there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The PCA is looking forward to the guidance of Willie and other caddy masters and the professionals here in the UK and all over the world to help us and guide us through our mission to develop the best caddy association we can have to provide benefits for not only caddies but their families and other members who are involved in the golfing community worldwide. Thank you. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Tip, and then Tip, you can reciprocate. <laughs> well, let me. Well, yeah, we have a, 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 we're just talking about. This is something I'm going to tell you. Where feet can take a hand, and this is a true story. Tip, when we we Arnold at Birthday, 1961, I had a, a 1930 Lanchester, yes. <laughs> and I was having a problem with the, the braking system, a different system from this. And Tip and I were going to drive back to Glasgow. Tip was going to to St Andrews. On the way from the course to get petrol, I drove into the petrol station and the guy says to me, do you see what's wrong with your back wheel? I says, no, what's wrong with it? He says, it's hanging off. Oh, <laughs> well, that's, that's true, <laughs> true. So, as fate was have it, the two of us in the same car this wheel come off in a place where we could stop. Fortunately, it was discovered. And the guy put it together again, and we drove home safely to Scotland. Yeah. Ah. And we're here to tell the tale. Thank you, Jackie Stewart. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.